Bowman here at VW1.com. And a lot of people are asking this question, should I upgrade to Windows 7? Windows 7, which got just released a couple months ago, is probably by far one of the best operating systems Microsoft's ever uh, released. And a lot of people are wondering, should they upgrade to it? They don't want to run into another sort of Windows Vista fiasco where they upgrade and you didn't get any better performance or you got more problems than you thought you were going to get. And the answer to your question, should you upgrade, is a definite yes. Probably since Windows 7 release candidate won the first release candidate, it's been a far better operating system than Windows Vista has, and it's definitely a vast improvement over Windows XP. I definitely recommend upgrading, and, and especially in, 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 in cases that if you're using Windows Vista and just nothing seems to work, and it just it's slow and, and it's bogged down, Windows 7 corrects a lot of those issues. Windows 7 runs a lot better on, on older hardware as well. And if you're on Windows XP and you're worried about upgrading because some type of program doesn't work there, XP mode is in Windows 7. It's in the uh, professional and um, Enterprise and Ultimate Edition. You can install it through on one of those three versions of uh, Windows 7. Just check out my video on um, XP mode. You can see how it works. So if you have that one application just worried about that won't install or won't work in Windows 7, it will if you use it in uh, Windows uh, XP mode. And most applications that I've installed, regardless of what original platform they've been on, it's pretty much seem to have been able to work in Windows 7. They've done a great job with the compatibility issue that they sort of had in Windows Vista and previously when they had in um, Windows XP when that first kind of came out. Um, it's definitely worth upgrading. I, I recommend doing that. Obviously, you want to go to um, go over to uh, Microsoft's website and check the uh, compatibility of, of, your, of your system. You also want to check to see which edition of Windows is right for you. And you want to just check to make sure if you have to do a clean install or you can just upgrade from your previous operating system. In most cases, I always recommend doing a clean installation, what they call custom install when you run the installation. Just clear out everything. Make sure you have everything backed up. Just clear out everything and just reinstall it fresh. It won't have the, uh, if you're using a laptop and you have some pre-installed programs like stuff that HP and, and Dell and all of them put on there, um, all those trial stuff like that, it won't be on there. So if you're looking to have that, you probably want to get the upgrade disk maybe from HP or, or somebody else. But um, I, I would definitely um, recommend doing a clean installation fully and just getting the drivers from, from your manufacturer's website and installing specifically what you need and all the applications that you need. So you definitely want to do that in upgrading to Windows 7. So. My other question would be on this video is that have you upgraded to Windows 7 and so far what's been, been your experience? You can uh, post a video response, you can uh, respond to the comments below, you can check out the link in the description, head over to bw1.com, you can put your um, reply there as well as to what you've done so far if you upgraded to Windows 7, if you're hesitant, why are you so hesitant, you know, some, maybe we can answer some questions for you there, so definitely check that out. Be sure to check out my videos on Windows 7. I have seven great tips up there for Windows 7 so you can see some of the new features that are on Windows 7 before you know before you decide to upgrade to it. Also check out my installation video as well so you can see what it is to install, install Windows 7. You can, I'm doing a clean installation on there so you can see that, see what you can expect when you're installing Windows 7. So check those videos out. It'll answer most of the questions that you have if you're wondering about upgrading. This is Bowman from BW1.com. Remind you to follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash BW1.com. Subscribe to our RSS feed. Subscribe link on the YouTube to subscribe to our YouTube page. Also follow our RSS feed. And remember to live your tech world in high definition.